Hey guys, welcome to my vlog. This is going to be part two. We are currently in Nice, France. So we are in a hike right now because I thought it was a great idea to start from the top of a mountain and go all the way down to the beach. But I didn't realize when Google Maps says 1.2 miles, it actually means 1.2 miles straight down, which is kind of hard on your knees. And these are the kind of shoes I have right now. Did you tell us this was going to be a paved, a nice paved stroll? I thought this was a paved stroll. She said this is a nice paved stroll <laughs> down to the water. We can get an Uber <laughs> at the bottom. It should be a half hour max. Um, and as you guys can tell, it's a rocky motherfucker. So... We didn't bring any water. We're dumb. We don't even have any water. We literally have. You have a bag of perfume. <laughs> we could drink that if we needed to. It's also not that hot. It's not that hot. It's nice. It's pretty. So, just because you guys missed some things, we arrived from Paris to Nice on Monday. So, guys, we're in a pickle. Our Airbnb kicked us out because they're not ready for us to check in yet. So we've been straight out here in East France, literally being homeless. It's hot. It's so hot. Everything's closed. It's Monday. Yeah, we the came issue on a Monday, everything's is closed. we arrived on the worst possible time. There's yeah. nothing's open. No food is open. No coffee shop is open. We literally were about to start for the extended amount of time. Boy. But we're on our way back to Airbnb because now we can check in. On Tuesday, yesterday, we just went to the beach club, which was beautiful. We got drinks, got alcohol. A reservation for yes. Shad. Shad for one big bed. So we just finished the beach club. How was it? I drink a bottle of wine and I'm chilling. <laughs> she didn't help me. She a like whole wine. bottle of wine without me. To be fair, it was over the course of five hours. To be fair, to be fair. I had like one my time. So it is 5 p.m. and we're heading out back home because we still have to work. If you guys are ever in the south of France, I do recommend this beach club. It's called Plage de. You don't know what it's called. It's called Batique. The Batique is the place, but the beach is called Plage de. I think. I'll put it right here. This place, 10 out of 10. Beautiful. And then today we're in Ezech, which is like this medieval town, and we are now hiking down to the beach. All right, I'll see you guys when we're potentially at the bottom. We made it. We're done. Don't do it like I do it. Alright, good morning everybody. We're going to Monte Carlo. My son is missing us at the train station. It's currently 12 minutes train ride from Greece. We just arrived to Monaco. Actually, we're not really in Monaco. We're in another city called Carnoles. I like how this entire video is just like, I don't know what's actually going on right now. I'm just going with the flow. We are now going to find my friend who's picking us up. I don't really know where he is though. I think he's here somewhere. They said they're, they're like on this side of the train though. Uh, oh, is that that right there? No, I'm lost. Oh, there he is. Right there. Hi! I found you. How are you? How are you? you? Nice to see you. Nice Hi. to see you. Yes. Wow. Merci. All right, guys. We are currently here in Cassis. We took a three-hour train ride from where we were staying, and we're about to check into our Airbnb. To be very honest, the train ride was pretty nauseating. I basically felt like I was going to throw up half the time. But our Uber is here, so hopefully things are just getting up from here. Why is he leaving? Why is he leaving? Oh, no. Babe, there's candies. This entire time, I was like, I need candy right now because I'm about to throw up. Babe, it's a cough drop, I think. Wow, those are being so cool. Okay. So, we just arrived to our Airbnb. And this is what our Airbnb looks like when you walk in. And upstairs. 
is the loft. Hopefully we fit there because this looks like a very small set of stairs. Oh, actually it's pretty roomy, babe. Pretty good, eh? Pretty good. Bobo to the waitress. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I didn't realize, but I literally, <laughs> when the waitress came with food, I said, hub, hub, hub. We are eating some tapas, which is like an afternoon snack here. I think that's actually a Spanish term, but. Small plate. Tapas means tapas small, means small plate small in bite. Spain. In, or in Spanish, sorry. I'm so good. An adequate language. They're originally from Spain, though, I Yeah. So after our little snack, we are now candy shopping. It helps my nausea, okay? I think. By the way, this like is a really popular candy shop in all of Europe. It's all pirate themed. And one of my favorites is these guys. They're like sour gummies. But I like the Coca-Cola gummies as well. My mom's gonna kill me, but don't worry guys. I'm gonna have stuff in moderation. So Zane got some hot candy he's gonna try. It's like a extremely spicy one. There's literally a warning sign. Just take a half of it. Oh my god. Is it spicy? Yeah, it's spicy, but it's not that spicy. It's enjoyable. Really? It's probably too spicy for you. Let me try. Oh, let me try. It's such a tiny amount. You just took a little... You like it? Mm -hmm. You like it? Can you eat a whole one? Or in a bed? Yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah, <you're good. laughs> You know what I like most about Europe? What? It's like everybody, I feel like, appreciates just sitting down and having a sip of rosé and not doing anything. Oh, so you like to relax now? I do like to relax. I think that's such a crazy phenomenon where in America yeah. they treat like coffee shops as like meeting places, right? Or working places, but in like, in, in Europe specifically, it's more, I mean, there is working places, but it's, it's treated as a place to get off the phone. Would you agree with that? Well, uh, I'm, I'm a big relaxer, big chill guy. So, I enjoy doing that. I'm glad that you feel comfortable doing so here as well. Look, I feel like, obviously, like, if we can go to any... You know, I live in California. Obviously, the beaches are nice, but here, I feel like you can really just, you know, be like, wow, I'm, I'm sitting on a rock right now on Earth, and I'm here on Earth. There's laugh love, babe. <laughs> Love. It's not what I'm saying. <laughs> no, no, it's good. It's good to, it's good to slow down, take the time. California in LA, the restaurants are always super overbooked, and they're trying to get you in and out, right? Like literally, I mean, it's actually a problem here, but no one asks for my credit card. So then it's hard to pay and leave. I do get anxious, but I think after a week and a half of being in Europe, I am slowly be becoming basically French. <laughs> You are being the quintessential obnoxious American tourist that you told me not to be. 